welcome. Today we will be uh, working on a Dell Latitude 5580. And to start out, we're gonna use a small Phillips bit. This is a 2.0. All right, so first we're gonna go ahead and remove the bottom case screws. All right, so the screws are internally retained so they won't come out. You just loosen them and then we're gonna take a flat edge and go along the seam where the bottom cover connects to the rest of the laptop and then just undo the little snaps. And then we can see inside the laptop. So we will go ahead and um, disconnect the battery. So just pull up on the little uh, loop of plastic and just pull it straight out. And then we can remove the screws holding in the battery. Next we'll remove the RAM. So we'll just spread the little two retainer bars and pull the memory stick straight out. And the Wi-Fi card. Just one screw holding on the retainer. And pull the antenna straight off. And you can pull the card straight out. All right, next we'll do the CPU cooling fan. And to pull that connector, you wanna get your fingernails along the little tabs and pull it straight out. And you can remove the fan. All right, next we can remove the SSD drive. Now it looks like to uh, remove the motherboard, first the uh, this big plastic bracket is gonna have to come out. So um, we'll go ahead and remove the screws and take out the large internal bracket. So we have the screws removed and it looks like we might have a ribbon kind of in the way. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect this one. So just slide the connector laterally and that'll allow it to clear the little bracket. And looks like there's a couple more 
for the touchpad. So just flip up on the little retainer and you can remove the ribbons. Alright, so looks like we're ready to remove the motherboard. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect all of the ribbons. So we'll just flip up the little tab and we can pull the ribbons out. You have the two screws out holding in the display cable. Just grab a little ribbon piece up here and then pull it straight up. All right, so it looks like all the ribbons have been removed, so we can go ahead and finish taking out the screws for the motherboard. And once you have the screws out, we can gently wiggle the motherboard free. And in this case, we're gonna go ahead and leave the heat sink attached to the motherboard, but it's obviously just four screws and it'll come right out. All right, now we will remove the DC jack. And um, for this model, the keyboard is not replaceable. It's kind of riveted in there. And um, we're gonna leave the rest of this as a complete assembly. Um, but if you need to switch out the touchpad, I mean, it's right there, held on by adhesive, card reader, a couple screws, and the speakers aren't really mounted with anything besides a rubber grommet. Um, so that's basically it for the palm rest and removing. Um, next, we're gonna go ahead and remove the display assembly from the palm rest assembly. All right, so first we're gonna go ahead and get the screws holding in the two small covers back here. So it looks like there's just one screw each. And then we're going to open up the assembly. And then remove these three screws holding in the hinge on both sides.
And before you move the last screws, you wanna go ahead and support the assembly using your hand underneath. the palm rest free of the display assembly. All right, for the display assembly, we're gonna separate the bezel from the back cover, and you're gonna need a little flat edge. So we're gonna go along the seam. Just start working that bezel free. be a little bit tricky. I think they use adhesive and the little snap connectors so just take your time and don't put too much pressure on it and it'll come off. So once you get it started then you can kind of go around and just use your fingers. So once you have the bezel off, um, you can see there's just a few screws for the hinge hinges and then a few screws for the actual LCD display. So I guess first we can just remove the hinges. And then we can now uh, remove the LCD panel from the back cover. So it's just the four screws around the perimeter and that will free the screen. So it looks like the video cable is kind of held on with a bunch of tape. So we're going to go ahead and peel some of this back. And second layer of tape. Go 
go ahead and pull that back. You want to put a finger on the little metal strip so it doesn't pull that back with it. This is pretty strong adhesive. All right, so once you have the tape unstuck, go ahead and peel back that third piece of tape and flip up the little bar for the connector, pull it straight out. All right, so now we can finish pulling that video cable out. It's got a combination um, with the webcam cable, so we'll just go ahead and take it out. And then try to use your fingernails to pull that connector out. All right, so the only thing left is the webcam and the Wi-Fi antennas. We're gonna go ahead and leave the antennas in here, but they're all just kind of stuck in. We've got all the screws out. So um, for the webcam, um, it's a lot easier not to damage it if you get it from the bottom or the top and not the sides. They're very thin, so it's really easy to damage them if you're prying the wrong way. So let's get a nice flat edge. And just peel it up from the sticky, sticky tape, and there's your webcam. All right, so that is how you disassemble a Dell Latitude 5580. Um, if this video helped you or you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.